Okay, I'm taking this up. This is the November 3rd, 2020 Executive Committee meeting of the Troy Community Land Bank. And we're waiting for folks to join the meeting. Being recorded. Yeah, and no, I, I had it. Uh, okay, that's oh, yeah, I don't trust you. I don't trust you today. Yeah, you should with my brain right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's 431 and I'm calling the meeting to order. I'm going to take a roll call. Suzanne Sellen. Here. Brian Barker. Here. I am Heather King and I am here. We also have Tony Tazi and Kate Hedgeman. And was there anybody else or no? Well, there would ordinarily be Sharon Nichols, but she's she's turned into a pumpkin. Yeah. And she was your favorite. Is that why you've been a little off? <laughs> well, I've been Because I'm not going to let you live that. I'm not going to let you live that down because she was your favorite. Um, okay. Geez, geez, I thought I was the favorite. I'm, I'm, that. Oh, <laughs> see now, see now, Tony, now you're in trouble. Now, now you're in trouble. I love everyone. All you're in trouble with me. And you're in trouble with Kate. So you got a double whammy. As long as I'm not in trouble with my wife, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but we're your work wives. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Well, now that Sharon's going on, so, I equally. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have the draft minutes from last month, which I was not here, two sets of I was minutes. absent. Hmm? You have two sets of minutes, uh, October 10th and the September 8th minutes. Okay. All right. Do we have a motion to approve the minutes? Motion. Second. Brian is making the motion and Suzanne is second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Thank you, everybody. See, I'm, I'm, I had to say I missed the meeting last month and then the last board meeting. I forgot to put, thanks, Brian, for <laughs> reminding me to. Uh, okay. Put everything on there. So, the draft agenda action items is that we have the purchase application to approve at the board meeting that A and D just recommended uh, for 103 Ferry Street. Yep. Is there anything else I, that we need to discuss? I know we do need to discuss Sharon's replacement. Well, I have um, <laughs> I've talked to Steve Strikeman about it, and I actually have an automatic calendar going to him every week that. Um, is a reminder to him that we need to have that um, appointment. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that's, that's they, good. They went from the color yellow to the color orange. So, okay. Um, All right. Let's see. When are we reappointing? Are we reappointing anybody, or when are the um, the board members? Terms up? Is that in December? Because I think am I coming up mine? Uh, are are reappointments December or are they at the annual meeting? Can't remember. All right, I can't remember right now either. He would know. So it let's knows. just let's just put that on a little question question action item if possible. Um, is anybody else? How's everybody doing? I don't, do we have anything <laughs> to talk about? Um, um, What's going to be to... on the agenda at the meeting? We got 103 Ferry. And anything and else? Do we have any board appointments? Do we have any board appointments that are, when are our board appointments up? That, that was just the question that I was asking. Well, I think, and I should know that, but my brain is broken today. Yeah, Ch Tony's got a nice chart. We'll pull that out. We'll take a look at it. I have a nice chart. Okay. Yeah, you charted it out. <laughs> I, 
of when the terms are up because we needed it for oh, Harris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm looking at, well, I did take a look at uh, last year's November agenda and there wasn't anything there for appointments. I'm looking at December's, um, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, oh, that's right. There was no, there was no meeting uh, in November, 2019. But uh, and I'm looking at December and I'm not seeing anything about. Well, the appointments continue unless they're changed, you know, by the appointing party. Oh. So, or there's oh, a okay. resignation, you know. Um, oh, all right. So, well, as long you know, as we, we don't need any action. Right. So, I mean, it might be a quick meeting for the board meeting. We're only going to do uh, the 103 ferry sale. Maybe, unless you can think of it and financials, maybe. Maybe some property updates for the whole board on the status of a lot of this, but there's Seven really 91. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, Brian. Nice. I'm so sorry. I, I was just, I was just, Suzanne. Oh man, that was a fun meeting <laughs> or A and D one. What did uh, I miss? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so then uh, uh, we're going to meet at 791 River tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, I was by there this morning. It, it just, it, it, the dream is so wonderful. The reality is frustrating. I don't know. I'll be. Yeah, they were there today, though, weren't they? I, I went to go vote, and I thought I saw people around there. That's good, because I was there in the I was there this morning, and I didn't see anybody. Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's I, I'm reassuring. Not, I'm not encouraged by the progress at all. I mean, I I think at that site visit there, you got to make it pretty clear that you know. <laughs> yeah, it's embarrassing. It's, it should not have taken that long. I well, it's, it's not. It's um, not even close to the done yet, though. I mean, I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, so, the, Brian, these I, are pretty pretty darn close. It's been pretty I darn tell close. You, Brian, for I, like I eight really, months. I really, yeah, Brian, I really want to thank you for your just your expertise and your just being able to really re, like just look at the project and and just being on it i i do really want to tell you that i i'm so appreciative of that well i i wish it could help them move i don't think anything i've observed is helping them move faster but. well your observations <laughs> will help me make them move faster <laughs> <laughs> yeah so thank you. Yeah. I don't think I've said that to you. I, I I miss meeting everybody in person. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. yeah so do I. Yeah, I do too. I only have three more years to go. <laughs> oh. oh. All right. Well, I guess that's Kate. I guess that's it. Unless you get any updates and any foreclosure actions or anything in the meantime. But it looks well, like we're I just going to. I have a question. Yep. Yes. So the treasurer's position comes solely from uh, Steve's office, or how does that work? Well, the uh, the the seat appointment comes from uh, the the mayor. It's the mayor's appointment. Um, the board has to make the appointment of the uh, the position itself. Okay. The, yeah, we get to we, we we nominate for a treasurer. Yeah, traditionally, though, the mayor has picked two people with finance background. Like the first one was Frank, and then we got um, Sharon. So it would be nice if they could find someone comparable experience. Well, Franklin knows, knows that. He may forget it, but I, I absolutely positively told him that we need somebody that has strong finance background. 
even from an accounting firm, I don't know if we can reach out to like one of the major accounting, because I, I found that to have been very helpful. I think the appointment might actually um, go faster if we, or if I um, submitted some suggestions to Steve. I think the problem is you have to live in the city of Troy. Or have an office. Or, or have an office. Or I should say business, right? I'm not, I'm not sure that's yes. what the local law says, but maybe. Well, I hope so, because I, I don't live in the city of Troy. I'm right on the border of Brunswick, and I have an office here. Yeah. And Frank was oh, also the right. same situation. Yeah. Maybe, maybe your local law does that. It does. That it makes does. sense. Yeah. Okay. No, it does. All right, cool. I mean, I pay Troy school taxes. <laughs> Uh, not, not quite there. So, um, yeah, so if anybody has any ideas, I mean, because Tony broached it to me yesterday. What's the status of any... uh, getting the website going, contract going? Um, I haven't received anything from uh, uh, Creative. Or, I'm sorry, vibrant. On what? We got to sign the contract, get it back to them, and set up the first meeting with the marketing committee. Yeah, I know. You, um, we had an email exchange, and you said that we can use their their agreement. I haven't received it yet. The contract they already sent with the proposal. That is the contract. I don't remember getting that. That's all right. Take a look at what they sent and there is a contract in there to sign, I believe. Okay, we'll take a look. And I also think I resent it to you. Huh. Okay, well. I've got, obviously I've got to get that out the door. <clears throat> the city um, give us the grant money yet? No, <clears throat> the city was supposed to have someone contact all the grantees last week and start working through the paperwork. And um, I haven't heard anything from the city. Um, I did email um, the city's PR person. I forget his name, uh, Salka. Oh, Johnny, yeah. And I mentioned that uh, we were not on the city's website as, you know, a, a grantee. And just and I suggested to him that they might want to add us to the list because it's, you know, it shows one more um, organization they were able to help. And I did have not received, I didn't receive a reply back. Um, but the way the grant is structured to move forward we can't even uh we can't even purchase before we sign the agreement we cannot purchase anything and then be reimbursed for it so um our it guy happened to be in yesterday and he asked me what the status was and i and i said you know boy i'd love to say let's go buy tablets and you know the other stuff but i have to i have to have a signed agreement with uh with the city before i can do that and I just had a question about that too. I'm not, I wasn't quite sure why we were buying the tablets, but if we're going to distribute those, we're going to need an IT policy and all of that. Um, and there's going to have to be proper security and all that stuff. Um, Who's going to get them? Mark Landau. I'll bet you you can pull that right out of your pocket, Kate. <laughs> Well, right, but who's going to get the... They were going to go to all the board members because we were generating reams of paper before COVID. Yeah. So that way we could put all of the um, agenda items and et cetera, et cetera, on the tablets and, and not have to print out all that stuff that, frankly, I bring home, hold on to for about three weeks and then shred. So... All right, well... I guess I'm confused because even with the tablets, the only way to get you that information is by email anyway. So 
I, I don't know. Well, the, but yeah, you're, my, you're my, going to, you know, when we still had physical meetings, we were getting stacks of paper and I, you know, it seemed unnecessary. Well, you know, this was a COVID-19 grant and my argument to the city, which, which they bought, was right now we're all using different equipment and anyone from the public who, who wants to participate in a meeting or attend a meeting, a virtual meeting, um, they don't have a clue of who anybody is. Um, you know, right now, look at the screen. Um, if somebody from the public were looking at it, they wouldn't know those phone numbers. They wouldn't. So, so with the tablets, um, what I said to the city, with the tablets, with the um, consistent of hardware and software, um, we would be able to um, have a better meeting for the public to understand. Uh, and also that we would uh, be able to um, include some software that would help with some requirements that enterprise is uh, putting on us. And, and that Kate that you mentioned, uh, the public authorities office is likely to, to start pushing in terms of, uh, you know, multilingual and that kind of stuff. Okay, I'll put it on the list to talk about. <laughs> what's the what's the title of that list? <laughs> I'm not allowed to say. Um... <laughs> what I was afraid of. Uh, all right. Um, when's the board meeting? Uh, November 18th. Okay. Okay. All right. Can I make a motion to adjourn? Second. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, it was nice chatting with everybody. We'll talk to everybody on the 18th. Thank you. Thanks. Take Thank care. you. <laughs>